Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forza Thun guide where I show you the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of the challenges in this week's Forza Thun event. So this Forza Thun called More Than A Feeling wants you to use any retro sports car of your choice to complete all of the challenges and they are actually fairly easy. So first of all, you're going to want to pick a retro sports car. Now, there is loads and loads to pick from. You've got from Mazda RX-7s to Mitsubishi Eclipse, all sorts of cars. But I went for the 2002 Nissan Skyline GTR. Now, the reason for that is just it's one of my favorite cars of all time. But anyway, I have created a tune for it. It's S1 class. Share code is 15922302. Now, you may not necessarily need a tune for it, but it always helps. So the first challenge here is really easy and it's actually the last challenge we did in the old Forzathon the week before and it wants you to get a total of 9 stars on any drift zone. So if you watch my previous video you'll know where I'm going here, of course it's the Horizon Donut. The reason for this is 3 stars on here only wants you to get 30,000 skill points on the drift zone and it's really really easy, it's just literally half a circle and then you go back round and do it all again. So really, 9 stars on here should just be 3 attempts of getting 3 stars. And like I said, it's actually pretty easy. This Skyline's actually really, really good at drifting. Obviously, it's a lot easier because it is all-wheel drive normally. So that definitely helps. But like I said, it's a really easy drift zone. And it took me maybe less than 5 minutes to get a total of 9 stars. So I had a couple of dodgy runs, but a couple of really good 3-star ones. So really easy first challenge there like i said it's the one we did at the end of last week's falls upon as well so that's not a difficult challenge at all now moving on to the second one which wants you to win a road race series event at the asmore heritage circuit now again this is another easy one mainly because i've created a race for you guys to use so if you just filter your road racing series events if you look just below the mud kickers adventure park over in asmore you've got the heritage circuit here now don't worry you don't have to do the full lap or the full race so when you go over here if you go over to custom events i've created one called quick and easy win so the share code for this is 105697380 and as per usual it's just one where I send the AI off into the distance so they're basically not even in the race and if you head over to the right hand side you'll be able to fly past them and straight to the finish line so that challenge will literally take you a minute if that. Now moving on to the final challenge here, it wants you to earn a total of 250,000 skill score in your retro sports car. Now, this doesn't have to be done in one go. It can be done across the course of the weekend or the week. It's entirely down to yourself, but it's really, really easy to get it out of the way in one shot. First of all, I'd recommend buying out a load of the car's skill points for whichever one you're using. They will always come in handy. Some of them will boost your skill score by an extra 20% or whatever. So like I said, that's always quite helpful. Now, this clip you're about to watch, I got 278,000 skill score in literally one minute and 44 seconds. So you'd think 200 50k is quite tricky but it's really really easy so all you need to do is get a skill score of 50,000 multiplied by 5 or of course 25,000 multiplied by 10 if you've got a skill song going on at the time so this challenge is ridiculously easy and really really quick now as per usual I've headed over to the uh, Greendale airfield the reason for this is because there's a ton of stuff to smash into there's plenty of jumps to do you know there's lots of ways for you to get skill scores over here there's bins to smash into fences hedges traffic cones all sorts of things so it's actually a really really easy challenge to do like i said this this clip you're watching now is literally one minute and 44 seconds long i didn't want to fast forward it because it's so quick and easy to do and it's a really nice challenge to finish up on now I hope that this guide helped you guys out, um, if it did I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and if you're new to the channel of course subscribing would help me out massively. Uh, also if you're not aware recently the guys over at Turn 10 released 7 new achievements in Forza Horizon 4 to which I have also created a guide for all of them and the stay home achievement is now fixed which is obviously to purchase Sunflower Meadow. So that is another nice and easy uh, seven achievements worth 200 gamer score to get for you guys. Now, like I said, this final challenge is coming to an end now. Really, really easy. You only need a multiplier of 50k times by five. I think I got just over. So at this point, I just sort of stopped and let the skill wind up a bit. So I fast forward through this bit and then you'll see the final score pop up. Like I said, it's a nice and easy one to finish up on. But again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, but more importantly, I hope that it helped you out. If you have any questions about any of the challenges or anything Falls of Horizon 4 related, or just anything really, 
feel free to put them down below in the comments and I will always respond to you guys. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you take care and stay safe.